Do you have an old solar pool heating system that needs to be replaced? My name is Tyler, I'm with Solar Pool Supply, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Today, we're gonna to go over taking off the old panels, installing all the brand new panels, making sure all the penetrations on the roof are completely watertight and sealed, gonna connect the feed and return lines, and I'm gonna show you how to do the solar bypass. You're gonna need either 1.5 inch or two inch PVC pipe, schedule 40. So for this job, we're gonna be replacing the old helical panels with our new SwimJoy panel. It's made by the same manufacturer, it's just an upgraded model. All right, so for the first step, we're gonna undo the panel clamp assemblies. Once we're done with the panel clamp assemblies, all the panels are individualized, so we're able to take them up. Now with this particular installation, we do not have the top and lower gator clamps, which is the, are the header brackets for the helical system. Normally you would see those and you would just undo the bottom first. That way you still have the panels in place. Once you have the bottoms done, you can come back and do one panel at a time and lift up the gator clamps at that point. The way to take these off is there is a outside clip. So you need to make sure that it's off. You can either use your channel locks and hit it off or just nudge it. Since you're replacing the panels and all the parts, it's not really necessary to make sure you don't damage them. So with this particular installation, they use a quarter inch tech screw to be able to mount the back side of the rail onto the angled aluminum. So all you have to do is take the screw out, and once the screw is out, the panel is free to come out. So now that we've removed all the screws, keeping the panels in place and mounted to the roof, it's time to take the panels out and take them off the roof. So now I'm gonna take the panels off the roof one by one, and we're gonna start with the panel closest to the ladder. That way you always have a place to step. Ideally, this is a two-person job. That way you can have somebody at the bottom side of the ladder. That way they can grab the panel from you. So the next step, what we're doing is we need to get this angled aluminum out. And we also need to make sure that the old penetrations are watertight and sealed. Next step for this particular install, I'm gonna cut these pipes out of the roof because we're no longer going to be using these pipes and we need to flash them to make sure that the roof is watertight. This is a five panel SwimJoy DIY kit. One panel per box. Your hardware is gonna come in one box and it's marked by the orange paper on the top. So let's start unboxing this and see what's inside. So when you open this up, you'll have a sticker that says important documents. And right here is your important documents, which will have your installation manual, your spec sheet, and your warranty information. All right, so this is your tube that has all your hardware in it. You're gonna wanna safely pull it out.
All right, now that we got everything from our tube with all of our hardware, for this installation, we have five panels. So for this DIY kit, we're gonna have five of the panel kits, which have your upper and lower header brackets on them, along with two panel clamp assemblies. You're also gonna have a vacuum relief valve, and you're also gonna have one row kit. So now we're ready to install the panels. So you need to take them out of the box. So they come pre-rolled. And before installation, they need to be flat. The best way to get them flat is to have an open space on your property. You can use your driveway, or if you have a large backyard, it takes about 30 to 45 minutes or so in the direct sun, and they'll flatten out perfect. That way you can install them on your roof. When removing the straps from the panel, make sure that you use scissors or snips instead of a utility knife. You could damage the panel using a knife. Now in every SwimJoy panel kit, you're gonna have two upper and two lower header brackets for the panel itself. And you're also gonna have two panel clamp assemblies. One for the top connection, the second one is for the bottom. Now that you have the panels up on the roof and they're all flat and nice, the next step is you're going to attach the panels together. With the SwimJoy panels, you're gonna use a panel clamp assembly, which consists of an O-ring, a top and bottom clip, and a lock. So the O-ring goes on the inside part of the connection Make sure it's good and tight in there. You're gonna line it up with the next panel, connect them together. You're gonna take the bottom part, which has this flat end on the bottom, go right underneath. You wanna make sure it's lined up straight. Now with the top, you're gonna to clip it. Start it with your hands a little bit to make sure it's a good connection on this back side. Then use your channel locks or your pliers. You're gonna pinch them together. Then slide your lock into place. And push it on. Now this little piece in the middle just throws away. It's there for packaging. These little legs are gonna go straight in to the middle and it locks it in place so it'll never come undone. So these are the two header brackets. This one is the top. It's smaller and compact so it does not move and it's solid. This is for the bottom. The reason why, this gets attached to the panel and then with the panel expansion and contraction with the heat and the cold, it allows the panel to slide up and down freely. The way to put the header brackets on is very simple. You're just gonna take it and put it right on the rail, slide it into place. And then once you have your panel clamp assembly done, you're gonna use your Lexel, put a good daub of Lexel underneath the header bracket in between the bracket and the roof. That way the hole is 100% sealed. You take your two inch lag screw for the top header bracket, the bottom header bracket, you can use an inch and a half for a composition shingle roof. Just drive it straight into place. And that's it. All right, so if you have a roof obstruction in the way of the panel, one good thing about the SwimJoy panels, all the tubes are individualized. So you're able to essentially spaghetti the individual riser tubes around the obstruction. For example, this is a two inch vent pipe from a bathroom. You just spaghetti them, slide it right down into place. Now you wanna make sure that enough of these are free and loose. That way there's no tightness going on around the riser tubes. Another note, if you have an obstruction that's gonna be within a foot from this header to this pipe, then what you'll need is called a row spacer kit. That way you can have the panels essentially here and here on either side. That way this does not get in the way of the panel. All right, now we got the panels fully installed. All the top and bottom mounting header brackets are installed. All the panel clamp assemblies are in. So we are done with mounting the panels themselves at this point. The next step is the plumbing. I'm about to install the vacuum relief valve up at the top opposite corner of our return line. The reason you need a vacuum relief valve is so that way the system 
fully depressurizes when the system is off and when it's plumbed to allow for gravity drainage, all the water in the panels and the plumbing will drain off the roof every day. We're doing the return right here. So the return elbow with inch and a half, I'm using a street 90 to go straight into the CPVC pipe connector. Pipe connector you can use with either inch and a half or two inch schedule 40 PVC. All right, so I'm putting a pipe strap on our inch and a half pipe. Notice this is black because I'm gonna be painting this white pipe black to match the, the color of the panels. It's a very low profile pipe connector. That way it doesn't stick out, doesn't look ugly from the ground when you're looking at it. It also expands and contracts with the pipe and the panels. So that way it's a lot more secure. As you can see, this is our feed line going into the panels and it stays below the bottom header or the bottom pipe of the panel. And our return line is at the top opposite corner. So as long as your feed line is below the bottom header, it will always gravity drain. So the next step is to connect our pool equipment to our feed and return lines. This is done with just a couple valves, and this is an option with our DIY kit. It's called the Manual Temperature Control Kit. So we're gonna set up the solar bypass. Solar bypass, again, consists of a few valves. The main one is your three-way valve. Three-way valve, you can isolate the solar to be on or off. This is the pipe that is coming straight off of the filter from your pool equipment. And this pipe here is gonna be the return line from your solar and it will also be the return line from your filter back into your pool. So for this bypass, the right-hand side of this three-way valve is going to be our feed line going into our panels. So I'm gonna be plumbing off of this to go connect straight with our feed line that's attached to the wall. So this is your three-way valve. This is what turns the solar on and off. These are your two two-way isolation valves. These are what you'll use if you ever have to isolate your system. If you purchase our manual temperature control kit, it comes with a specialized three-way valve that allows for the gravity drainage. If not, no problem. You just need to install a drain loop. That way your system can gravity drain. So the path of the water, it's gonna go from your filter, it's gonna come up into the three-way valve. Then from your three-way valve, you're gonna to go to your solar, and then from your panels, it's gonna come back down through this two-way valve, through this T, and then back into the pool. This T completes the solar bypass. So now we finished installing our SwimJoy system. We've mounted all of our SwimJoy panels. We have connected the feed and return lines. We have installed the solar bypass. Now, 
time to turn the heat on. If you have any questions whatsoever about the installation, please don't hesitate to give me a call.